our first adventure today is probably a place you've never visited before, a landfill. Today, we're gonna find out exactly how a landfill works, what people put in it, and what things shouldn't go into landfills. To find out all of this valuable information, we're gonna meet up with Phil Stecker of the Outagamie County Landfill. Hi there, Phil. Hi, Annie. Thanks for having me today. Great, nice to have you here to visit our landfill site. Well, I guess my first question is, how do landfills work? Landfills are actually quite complex. There are many steps of activities we do every day. Let's start by showing you the very first step at the entrance to our site. Let's go for it. Okay. This is the very front of our landfill site. The traffic that comes in here goes across that way scale. We receive about 300 uh, vehicles per day coming into the site, and they wow. deliver about 1,000 tons every day into this site. Of garbage? Of garbage. Now, all of that garbage does not go into the landfill site. As much as we can, we divert away from the landfill to recycling purposes and other things. Phil took me over to see the recycling area where materials are separated and sorted. Then it was on to check out some interesting research. Phil explained that there is a group of researchers taking a sample of the waste that has been brought into the facility to see how many recycled materials are being discarded as waste. Wow, just digging through garbage. Yeah, what a job. <laughs> <laughs> what a job. <laughs> Annie, this is the actual landfill. Wow. This is huge. Is this garbage like all just from this county? Uh, about 95% of this is just from our county alone. Wow. They use this special machine to compact all the waste that comes into the landfill. The machine actually weighs the equivalent of 15 cars. That weight compacts the trash, so they can fit a lot more in an area. And that means this landfill can last a lot longer. There is presently about a 15 foot depth of waste from the bottom of the landfill wow. up to the surface. And later wow. we will place another about 60 feet of waste above this. It's going to take us about five years to fill five up to the, to the final elevations. Five years, yes. By reducing the amount of waste through recycling and waste screening programs, and by being careful about the types of waste we accept, landfills can be used for much longer and in an environmentally safe manner. It makes me think about how often I throw away something that could potentially be recycled or handled in a better way. But there's one really important aspect, and that is the bottom of the landfill. We have to construct that before we put any waste in. And the reason is that when rainwater uh, falls on the site and seeps down through the refuse, it becomes dirty. Mm -hmm. By the time that rainwater gets to the bottom of the landfill, it's a dirty water we call leachate. And that water, if we didn't have any kind of containment or liners at the bottom, would seep into the groundwater, could cause pollution. Oh. We don't want that to happen. Wow. So we build a liner system at the bottom of the landfill. The leachate Phil is talking about is then pumped out of the landfill and treated at the nearby wastewater treatment facility. Phil also showed me what they do with the methane gas after landfill is closed. Pipes are connected to wells that are drilled into the landfill. They remove the methane gas produced by decomposing waste and pump it into a power plant. The gas is used to power these giant generators, which make enough electricity to power the whole facility and 3,000 households annually. Wow, I never knew that I can help the environment and the community by just changing the way that I do a few things. When I get home, I'm going to be sure to tell all my family and friends about this. You should too. I mean, we should all be involved, right? Well, that's it for Annie. Catch you next time. Portions of the preceding program were co-produced by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Discover Wisconsin Productions as part of the children's television series, Into the Outdoors.